I'm Ksenia Edwards, the editor-in-chief of Holler Magazine, and today I'm going on a girls' trip to Niagara with my good friend and influencer Karina V. With the promise of stunning foliage at every turn, an abundance of locally grown food and wine, and tons of activities to choose from, we couldn't think of a better destination. For this girls' trip, we wanted to escape the city and recharge in nature in some of the most photogenic locations the region has to offer. I'm Ksenia Edwards, and this is my Niagara experience. We're at On The Brink Alpacas, and this is my new friend, Boomer. While visiting here, you get to go on a nice trail walk with them. It's super therapeutic and calming, and he's a great listener. Hey, Boomer. What shampoo do you use? Huh? How do you get that volume? <gasps> oh, so look at friendly. your pretty lashes. We all know city living can be draining, and it's so re-energizing and grounding being here outdoors, playing with these alpacas, and breathing in air that is honestly so much fresher than in the city. And there's no better way to spend time with a friend than around these sweet and gentle animals. Although our escape plan with Boomer didn't go quite as planned, we're leaving here feeling lighter, with clearer heads, and much happier. After working up quite the appetite, we're now headed to 13th Street Winery to get inspired by some unique Canadian art, try their award-winning gamay, and eat a box or two of their famous butter tarts. Cheers to girl time. Yes, good wine and good food. And alpacas. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That looks really good. I want some of this cheese right away. We've learned so much at 13th Street Winery, we feel inspired and we're walking away with a new favorite to add to our collections. This gamay is on another level. These butter tarts were voted the best in Canada, so let's give them a try, Karina. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> They have my vote. <laughs> wow. Caramelized on the outside, so good. After relishing in all of the culture here and stocking up on wine and butter tarts, we want to make a stop at Megalomaniac Wines. We just got to Megalomaniac Winery and seeing as this trip is all about finding the most photogenic places in Niagara, we naturally had to come here. This winery is actually located at the highest altitude point in Niagara and offers views of the escarpment and a very distinctive collection of wines. Niagara may only be an 80 minute drive from downtown Toronto, but you truly feel like you're a world away. As avid travelers and foodies, Karina and I both travel to eat and Niagara has a seriously elevated food game. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, it is. Thank you, it looks Enjoy. delicious. I could probably live off olives and cheese. I love when the honey comes straight off the honeycomb. This for me is my ideal girls date. Cheese, wine, obviously these amazing views and the best company. Thank so. you so much for having me. Thanks for joining me. Cheers what an amazing that. day, cheers. Our last stop of the day combines all of our favorite elements of a girls' trip into one. Furry friends, amazing local cuisine and wine, and some photogenic scenery. So I know here they do a lot of events and weddings. I mean, looking around at these grounds, I kind of wish I knew about this place earlier before oh, I booked it's up. It's so <laughs> magical here and so serene and quiet. And I think the photos here would be so beautiful too if you were to get married here. The fact that a lot of the food here is made from farms either on the property or nearby makes a huge difference in all of the dishes we've tried. This place is such a vibe, it's total rustic elegance, you have a farm on one side, vineyard on the other side, and it's harvest season right now. Honestly, I love everything about the food and the wine is delicious. It's understandable that our friends who come here always gush about it because it's so easy to lose yourself in the natural wonder here. We had the perfect girls trip in Niagara today and we cannot wait to come back. I'm Ksenia Edwards and this is my Niagara experience. <laughs>